my channel so as you can see I've rearranged my room now I'm facing my other window and now you can see Justin Bieber more clearly that was my whole point but anyways I wanted to do a haul video this is a pretty big haul I have some online shopping that I have done from shop Miss A and Mac drugstore H&M Sephora TJ Maxx so if you guys want to see what I got then please keep on watching so I'm going to start off with just the small items just to get them out of the way. So I want to start off with H&M. I got this really cute precision sponge that is super cute. Like look how cute this is for underneath the eyes. I can't like, um, you know, just blend out my concealer or my highlighter. And then I have this Lux Powder Puff. I have a bigger one, but I use that to puff my airspun on. But I want to use this just so for my clients. Just so when I do their makeup, my hand doesn't lay on their face because it's kind of like gross. Sensorium Eye Color. I don't know if you guys can see that. I guess this is like one of their new packaging. And this is in the color QV Rose. I don't know if you guys can see that. But... It's a really, really nice eye color. Eyeshadow. Oh my God. So gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Look at that. This is pretty on the lid. So I'm really liking these champagne nude colors. And then I went to Forever 21. And then they came up with this illuminating powder. I got it in beige and I also got this in nude. Oh, they're not bad. They're more... Can you guys see it? So that's beige. It's a nice glow. Oh my god, look at that one. This one is nude and this is beige. So maybe if I mix these together, they will become... Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect, so... Look at that. That is so gorgeous. So Forever 21, you guys. Four or five dollars I got these. So pretty good. Next, I did an online purchase at MAC. So I got two of their Pro Palette Customized 24 inserts. I don't know how to explain this, but this is basically um, the inserts where you put your lipsticks in. I have a lot of MAC lipsticks, so I'm trying to put all of them. So it looks like this. I got two of these. So two of these, and I want to put it in this MAC palette right here. And it's a double-sided, so I can put my nudes in here. And then I could put my bright colored or burgundy dark plums in here. 24 plus 24, I don't know if I have 48 lipsticks, but why not just start a big collection? Cause I am a makeup artist, so why not, right? I'm probably gonna do a DIY how to do it, so I'm excited, oh my God. I came with a free sample of the Candy Yum Yum fragrance. This one is the best one and it smells really good. It smells really bomb, oh my God. So I might put this in my purse cause you never know when your girl needs some fragrance, you know. Sephora. You guys, I am proud to say that I finally got my hands on the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in the color Kitten Karma. And this is such a gorgeous shade. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but basically this is like pressed pigments in a tube. Like, oh my god. Good. Like, look at how gorgeous. Look at how I just love these like champagne nude colors. Like, this is so freaking gorgeous. You can put this all over the lid, or you can do like an ombre glitter, or you can put it like right in the middle for like a like a sandwich eyeshadow thing you want to do. So I thought this was nice. This is pretty expensive, it's like $20 and up, I believe. I had to get my Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. You guys, this stuff is so pigmented, 
it's ridiculous like look how gorgeous like these shades are and like these names are just super cute this is so nicole guerrero because she has these sayings for a reason if you guys follow her but let me just swatch Kit kitty cat forever lit and glow getter i just put them right here look at that I mean, it was a, such a light swatch but look how pigmented that is that is intense i'm so excited i reached my 100 points so i got the tarte brighter days i believe this is a highlighting moisturizer yeah so you can add this to your foundation or you can add this right on as a base to put your powder highlighter so this is cool now tj maxx so I have a lot of stuff at TJ Maxx that I have been hauling. Beauty concepts, change your color game like you change your mind, change. Doesn't make any sense, but I think it's game change, change your color like you change your mind. I don't know. But basically what this is, it's a brush cleaner holder. So because I'm a makeup artist, I like to go and put my hand through. Just like this and swatch the brushes off before you put them on your stand so i thought that this was really really cool and this is like only three bucks you guys so yay i'm excited and these are so cute look at that it looks pretty corset looking so it's not like boring on my hand looks like i'm like a mortal kombat girl or something no just kidding i don't know what the hell i'm saying anyways my cellular makeup remover facial spray like what this is the brand live green and this is new i got this for five dollars so i'm obsessed with my cellular like makeup removers i don't know what it is i'm i'm obsessed with the garnier one i love this one so when i heard about this i'm like let me just try it out because what if it's legit i can just spray my face get like a wet makeup remover and just trying to like because i have a lot of makeup like i i mean i cake my face with a lot of makeup so this stuff works i mean i'm probably never going to see it at tj maxx because the one thing about tj maxx and ross like when you see something you like and you want to get more of it you can't really unless it's like the hair products they always have that the same you know same hair products but I saw this, I was like, this is legit. I mean, I'm gonna just try this on and see what this does for me. Insta Dry Nail Polish Set and Dry One Minute Manicure for another for like five dollars. So I thought this was super cute because I'm obsessed with like nail dryers. Ever since I've been working at um, you know, as a kid's hair salon, we've been doing a lot of you know insta dry just because the kids they touch them and whatnot. I mean, it doesn't completely dry the nail, but it kind of helps it. So I really want to see what this will do. Coconut water face mist with rose. I've been loving the smell of rose lately. Oh, it smells so good. And it gently moisturizes, nourishes, and hydrates your skin while delicately adding fragrance. Coconut water um, face mist. So I thought this was so hydrating when I bought it. Like, I mean, I tried it on and I was like, I'm just going to buy it. And it's like $4, so can't go wrong. Urban Studio, like just looking at it well you can't see close up but it kind of looks like the one from real techniques the miracle sponge one so i'm just gonna give this a try and it feels pretty good so i'm gonna like soak this and use this just for baking because i already have a lot of sponges underneath my eye for highlighting but i want to bake my contour just to define it more pro artist bronzer palette and this was like five dollars like you can't go wrong and i just want to see what this will do so it looks like this and it kind of has more deeper skin tones look at that so pretty oh my god let me just swatch a couple of these oh yeah look at that let me swatch the darkest one in the palette oh snap these are pretty legit Ooh. Oh yeah, these are nice. Scored for uh five dollars for a pro palette. Contour pro palette. So naturally upper Canada soap bar in almond milk. And you guys, I love 
almond smells. I love oranges. I like any kind. Like this reminded me of from the body shop, the almond. Super Glow Beauty Concepts in the Ultra Radiant Bronzer and the Ultra Radiant Illuminator. Like, doesn't this kind of like remind you of Physician's Formula in the drugstore? But these were like $4 each. So this one is not bad. This is more for like light contouring or for lighter skin tone girls. So I'm glad I got these. And then let me try the Illuminator. Let's see if this is good to go. This is so gorgeous. Let's see y'all. <gasps> oh wow that's more it's more it's more glittery than what this does oh well, I don't know if I'm gonna like that one but not bad not bad and then last but not least at TJ Maxx I got this gardenia rose and this smells so good. How's me? I'm like putting it in the camera for you guys to smell. Hello. But this smells so good, you guys. Like, I love Gardenia. Shop Miss Say. I kind of pre-opened this package just so it doesn't, this video does, doesn't take too long. But I finally gave in and got their 24-piece brush set that they've been selling. They've been sold out a lot, but they finally restocked. And for the 24 brush set, you, you pay $20 for it. So I thought that was a good steal. So... Oh my god, and you guys, these makeup brushes are so soft. And you guys, they're a dollar a piece. Like, you cannot go wrong. If you guys are starting into doing makeup, you want to practice on yourself, or like just starting a kit, I mean, hello, you know? And then they have new lashes, 702 and 805. Like, look how dramatic these ones are. But these kind of remind me of... The Salon Perfect 615s or the Ardell Double Up in 606 or 600. So I was really like shocked that they got new ones because they usually have like the same wispy number 43s, um, Bianca style or something like that. But I was really excited that they got new ones because these are kind of like my new um, lashes that I like to wear. The Santi Mineral Compact Powder and I don't know what shade this is, but it looks really true to color for my under eyes highlighting. It's like a banana color. So I thought that, that was really nice. And then they came out, they have a AOA studio line. I don't know if, I think this is like their Shop Miss A line. I'm not too sure if this is their line or like another brand is sponsoring them or helping them out. But they have concealers now and I got it in Pure Beige and Bisque. So, and these are a dollar, you guys. Dollar concealers, you cannot go wrong. Liquid lipsticks. Oh my god. I'll show you guys in a little clip of the swatches, but I already pre swatched it. And you guys, these are pretty amazing. I got it in these, I got seven. They have more, but this is just the ones that I gravitated towards. And you guys, they are really soft, they are not clumpy. And they are pretty true to color, except for some ones, like some of them are really like, you gotta like add more color. But hey, you can't go wrong. I think these are way better than the ones on ColourPop, because ColourPop is like $6. This is a dollar, you guys, like you cannot go wrong. And these colors are beautiful. And this kind of reminds me of the um, Kylie Jenner Coco ones, but like, she has the gold ones, the limited edition ones, or the Chloe one, but from far away, they kind of look like it. I don't know about you, but for me, I think it is, or if it's not, then I'm such a fail. But you guys, a dollar, you cannot go wrong. And I got these two glitters that I've been wanting. These have been like, like out of order every time I order, but when I got them, I'm like, this is the Princessa Eyeshadow Pro Powder. They say it's a powder, but um, obviously it looks like glitters, as you guys can tell. So I got them in a blue and a purple. I thought that this was really, really cute. All right, last but not least, I have my drugstore items that I've been carrying in this silver bag. And this is so heavy, as you guys can tell. Look how full it is. Like, oh my God. But let me just start off with shampoo products. So I have the Tresemme Expert. I guess they have an expert line of the Keratin Smooth Color. I like this. 
because I like the smell of it. I mean, obviously it sucks, but hey, my hair is doing really fine. But I really like this, and I was really shocked that they have the expert line, so I got it in that. And then I also got the Keratin Oil Anti-Breakage from OGX Organic. And this stuff is okay. I mean, it was on sale, so you can't go wrong. So I thought this was cute. And then I got the l'oreal ever pure sulfate free so i guess they have a new line um i don't know if this is like repackaging but i've never seen this like holographic before so i got it in deep nourishing shampoo and the blonde conditioner so might as well since my hair is blonde i'm gonna probably be using this soon so i got it in those i had a coupon that if you buy any simple face wash you get a free 25 wipes cleansing wipes i have never tried simple i've been wanting to try it but it's too expensive but my friend goes go get it at walmart it's pretty reasonable so you know what got my coupon and I got it at Walmart, so not too bad. This is $5 and I got this for free. L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask Purifying and Mattifying in Eucalyptus. A lot of reviews, there's the three masks. There's the, there's the um, orange looking one, and then there's this one, there's a charcoal black one. A lot of them say that they like this one better, so I figured just give this a go. Duo Lashes, I'm obsessed with these one, the brush on. The brush on is way better than the other ones that they first started coming out with. I feel like that this stays on longer. You don't have to wait like the other tube looking ones. So, I mean, and this one doesn't smell as bad as the other ones. So I got it in, what is this? Clear white and in the black one. And then here I got some lashes. This is the Double Up Argel in 207. Wispies in 600. So let's start off with e.l.f. I have the highlighting brush. I've been wanting to get this brush. I've been seeing it all over social media or also on YouTube and finally got my hands on the highlighting brush. And then I also have the Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in Rose Gold. It's for like a maybe a lid topper. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Another, like, icy nude. Liner and brow cream. I never saw this before. So, I use a lot of their gel cream liners for my eyebrow pomade. I don't know why, but it's another hack or, like, a dupe hack. So, I was really shocked that they got this. MUA Professional Lip Brush. Since I'm going to be doing that lip palette from MAC, I figure why not? I gotta invest more in lip brushes. First base. I've been, I've never seen this. I was like, hmm, a lot of people don't really talk about this, but I'm pretty sure this is what you set first before you put on your foundation. So I thought this was interesting. My Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Medium. So I needed a backup. So I've been getting, I got that and I got a coupon with it. And of course I got the Milani Retouch and Erase Medium Concealer. I've never seen this packaging. I think this is one of their new lines. I'm not too sure, so I just figure why not give it a try. Last but not least, let me talk to you guys about some Wet n Wild products. So Wet n Wild products, you guys, I'm so obsessed. You have no idea. I finally got the Photo Focus Foundation and the Pressed Powder. And I got it in the color 372 Desert Beige. And this one is also an 826 Golden Tan. I am loving. I want to really try this on. I want to do a first impressions on this. And also, I have the Photo Focus Concealer in Medium Tawny. And I finally got my hands on the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in, I think this is Crown of My Canopy. I haven't found the Precious Petals, but I'm hoping and gonna still find this but this concludes my huge haul i hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe before you leave like my videos and i will see you guys in my next okay bye